There's a cut of pork that everybody is familiar with. I'm referring to the Boston Bud or the shoulder roast. But something that is taken from that is not so popular, but yet it's such a great barbecue item. I'm talking about pork steaks. Here is the pork steaks. I've got eight of them. Now these were like $5.98, $5.98, $5.76. That one's $7.22 but the good part about it was buy one get one free and here is the rub i'll be using this is from tnt barbecue thyron over there hooked me up he sent me a couple of his different rubs he hooked me up with his mop sauce and he also hooked me up with some john henry products because these and that is bottled by john henry and i can't wait to taste this this is a texas pecan barbecue sauce that is a grandpa's pecan rub. Got our mop sauce. I think we're about to make some really good eats. So with all that said, let's go ahead and put this grandpa's pecan rub on all of these on both sides. So I will bring you back momentarily once I get all this done and we're gonna put them on the offset, the Lone Star Grills offset. Alrighty, let's get this thing opened up. So we're just gonna place these around. Let them go at least a good hour before I even look at them. Look how well all that sweated in. Close her down. For anybody wondering, I am running black jack oak along with pecan wood, about 50-50 split on that, running about 250 degrees. What are you doing here? This is my cousin. His name is Russ also. I don't know whose idea that was, but his is spelled different. They spell his with two S's. I'm spelled with one S. What's going on, man? What's going on, Russ? Yeah, man, look, uh, I didn't mean to mess up your show here or anything, but uh, I was just sitting there thinking, if you was giving me a big old shout out, I would really appreciate it. And I'll even do a, a mention about your thermopro thermometers and everything. How does that sound to you? Yeah, we could do that, man, but don't worry about shouting out thermopro. I've already taken care of that. So, but yeah, this is my cousin. He's also got a YouTube channel. Now it's very resemblant of my channel and uh, you would swear it's the same content, but it's a shorts channel. For all of you that's got the attention span of a five year old, then go over there and check out his YouTube channel is called Smokey Shorts. I'll have a link in the description box. Well, man, I sure do appreciate the shout out and I'll get out of your hair. Nice meeting all you people out there in TV land. Y'all have a good one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, even though they are still pretty moist, I wanna get some of this flavor in here from this mop sauce. This has got apple cider vinegar, apple juice, water, spices, and bell pepper. I could smell the bell pepper. I just opened this. I think the smart thing to do would be pour this in a bowl and then mop from there, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. This is a half gallon size here, by the way. So I'm just gonna flip these over, do the backs of them. One thing you don't wanna do is dry these out. They are thin cut. Go ahead and mop this side here up. Let these go probably another 45 minutes and then we're gonna wrap them. They're already getting the color I want. I just want them to get a little bit more smoke. All right, we're gonna close her up. Probably 40, 45 minutes, we'll come back. All right, I want to go ahead and get these off of here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap these things up and get them right back on here. All right, so I want to stack these up. I'm gonna make like two stacks of them right on top of each other. And the last one, let me get my mop sauce. I just want to look in here and see how we're coming, see how tender we are. Oh yeah, look at all that steam. 
Just gonna probe around a little bit and get an idea. Oh yeah, but that's tender there. 199, oh yeah, we're good. Let me go ahead and get these on the grate. All right, so I just wanna pour a little bit of this on each chop. I got a basting brush here, we'll brush it in. We're gonna let it go on this side for about 10 to 15 minutes, something like that. Then we're gonna come back and flip them over and do the other side. Really all we're wanting to do is just kind of set that sauce, which takes roughly 10 to 15 minutes per side. So guys, holidays are over, the sales, the discounts, most everything's over, but not true with Therma Pro. I have a link in the description that will take you to my own Smokey Riz Barbecue page showing you my favorite thermometers from Thermapro. This is their TP620 that I own. This is an instant read. Love this thermometer, great build on it. And uh, it has everything the more expensive thermometers have. Also, they've just recently released their Thermapro Lightning. That is a one second thermometer, very fast. Now this one, this is their wireless probe. It's been out a few months, but I just got mine in. And also I have a wire thermometer through Thermapro. But look on that page and you'll see discount codes for my favorite thermometers. And if there's any other thermometer that you want, look down lower on the page, there'll be a link to all their thermometers and just pick whatever you like. Well, that's it. Both sides have been sauced. They're sitting over here right behind me. Gonna give it a taste. Well, let's see here. Let me just tear me off a piece here. Well, it tears mighty easy. Hmm, that's got a beautiful color on it. But so does that rub and so does that sauce. Now let's see how it tastes. Hmm, good smoke. A little bit of heat coming through. I don't know if it's the sauce or the rub. Not bad, just a mild heat. Man, you talk about good flavor. That that pairing really worked. The uh, TNT barbecue rub that I use, the mop sauce that he makes, and also the John Henry barbecue sauce, that is quite the pairing. Great flavor. If you haven't ever tried pork steaks, not pork chops, but pork steaks cut from the, the shoulder of a hog, then you're missing out. You've got to try this. Now keep in mind, they're thin. So you gotta be careful when you're cooking them. You don't wanna leave them uncovered too long. You see how I went like an hour and a half and I already put them into a wrap. Did they get enough smoke? Absolutely. They're so thin that that smoke kissed them really good for an hour and a half. It's somewhere between an hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes. I was going more by looks. When it starts looking a little dry to you, you better get them in a wrap to hold all that moisture in them finish them off, put a quick sauce on them, you're done, you're golden. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm Russ Jones with Smoky Ribs Barbecue.